Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and in this video we're going to take a look at Windows Mobile 6.5 Standard, which was just released officially for the HTC Snap. We talk a lot about the touchscreen version of Windows Mobile 6.5 that is professional, but not so much the non-touchscreen version because it doesn't bring that many changes uh, to the platform. But now that the official ROM is out, we're going to talk about them now on the HTC Snap. So let's zoom in on the screen a little bit and see what is different. First and foremost, now we have the Application Store Marketplace on the HTC Snap or Windows Mobile 6.5 standard. So again, you get please wait while checking for updates. And then the main screen is a little bit different. You don't get the featured icons on the top as you do in touchscreen devices. So we can immediately search for a particular program or drill down into, say, categories. Uh, from here, we can go to um, any of the categories. And this looks very much similar to how it looks on the touchscreen version of Windows Mobile. It's pretty fast loading. And let's say we want to get tic-tac-toe. We click install. It says sign in with your Windows Live ID, and then it'll install to your device just like you would experience on the touchscreen version. Okay, so let's get out of this and talk about what else is different. Also new is Microsoft My Phone is included. And also widgets are part of the operating system so that you can get the weather widget or a stock widget, or if you have a custom made widget, you can run it natively on this device. Now let's take a look at Internet Explorer Mobile, which has been revamped to be more like the touchscreen version. So we're going to go to go to web address, and you're going to see that it plays flash video right on the right in the browser. So we're going to go to uh, youtube.com slash pocket now video. The interface is a little bit different than it was in Windows Mobile uh, 6.1 standard. Click go. Okay, we're taken to the mobile version, but if we go down to one video in particular, and as you can see, you get a little preview on the side to know where you are on the page, uh, we can go down to the latest video and tap on it and get that virtual mouse cursor, which is quite nice. And we're actually going to get real flash video playing right here. And you see the little YouTube swirly thing. We can make this full screen just like you can do in Windows Mobile 6.5 Professional. So tap and hold. Go to full screen. There we have full screen flash video right in Windows Mobile. Hi, this is Chung Wen, and today we're going to take a look at the Samsung Intrepid on Sprint's network. So first we're going to do an unbox. And let's go to another web address real quick. Let's go to Amazon.com and see how that looks and how it feels to kind of scroll around the page. And like in Pocket Internet Explorer or Internet Explorer Mobile, as they call it now, on touchscreen devices, you get the, uh, the .com and the www added. So you just tap on that. Internet Explorer Mobile still a little bit slow. That's why we still like Skyfire a lot, which uses server-side rendering to pull down the page faster. So here we are on the desktop version of, um, of Amazon.com. And the pointer has turned into a zoom tool, so we can tap on any area to zoom in on the text. Now to zoom out, we tap on one of the buttons here uh, and do zoom. And we get the zoom slider but it disappears if you don't use it quickly. We get the zoom slider that you get in uh, the version of Internet Explorer Mobile found on the touchscreen devices, which gives you a level of control, but it's a lot of button clicking to, to, to move around on the page. So now um, I have to move around like this. I can zoom in. It's not that easy to zoom in and zoom out quickly. So let's just really quick click on a category here. So we'll try to click on books. Oh, here we go. Here are the menus that we were looking for. Certainly not the best performing browser that you can get for Windows Mobile Standard, but it's definitely an improvement of what we had before on the Windows Mobile 6.1 devices. So that was a really quick look at Windows Mobile 6.5 Standard on the HTC Snap. We'll post a link on pocketnow.com on how to get the official ROM update for the HTC Snap, and this is for the unlocked version. Really not that many changes that come in 6.5 Standard. We have the Marketplace, Widget Support, an updated version of Internet Explorer Mobile, and that's really it. 
And unlike the touchscreen version of Windows Mobile 6.5, we don't get a new home screen interface. We still have the sliding panel interface, which is quite nice. And actually, the uh, the version for touchscreen interfaces is based off of this kind of concept of going down and scrolling to the right, scrolling to the left, and having everything available on this main screen. So just a quick look at Windows Mobile 6.5 standard. That's it for now.